You might have already heard the term romanticizing your life, where you change the perspective of something to make it better than it seems. Although summer is exciting and fun, sometimes it can be hard to upkeep motivation and productivity during summer, especially if you live in the UK like me, as the weather is unpredictable. In this video, I show and tell you how to romanticize your life in summer, whether you're spending it alone, with friends, at home, and with little to no money. Please subscribe, I love you guys. I have never ever done a drive through before. I'm literally like shaking. I've been driving for like six months, never done a drive through. I've been so scared. And today I'm gonna face my fears. Hi, Lola. How about what can I get you today? Hi, could I get a pink coconut refresher, please? Yeah, love. Thank you. Oh, I feel so bad. I literally could not hear her at all. Thank you so much. Thank you, you too. There was a big speed bump there. I did it. Got a little pink drink. Oh my gosh, that tastes so good. Celebrating. definitely gone the wrong way to find a spot but I am determined to find it and you never know I could find somewhere even better to sit I found the spot Oh, it tastes so good. So I've just driven to the retail park and I'm gonna do a little bit of shopping. See if I can buy anything, hopefully nothing too impulsive, but just thought, see if I can find any cute bits just to treat myself. I'm kind of looking for like some self-care bits and I don't know why, I kind of want to buy a plant. I feel like I'm not going to find a plant, but you never know. Drove the gates, feeling anxious around 12 a.m. Just move, but might move it all out again. It's feel like deja vu. Swear last year my brain bought the same thoughts through. I blame the things I do. Only difference is I ain't in school. You heard that news? I flip birdies to these worms in suits. So getting moved in a couple months. So we need a new place to go get shit done. Now I got my old flow. East Coast and Spark. Ain't no biggie when I hit the whiskey, nothing that dark. It's getting thin like a wire, we getting twisted. Said we cool, but you a liar on some bitch shit. You see big bodies in my clothes, bros. If you ain't by me, you can stay home. We ain't keep sabis, don't get too close. Might get burned by wasabi, watch where that nose goes. You at the fishy, I'm praying on California Rose. I'm talking Hollywood movies, coming out. Okay, so I went to a couple of shops and I did pick up some stuff. Let me show you guys. That was like all this little like Asian food. And oh my gosh, I saw it and I was like so excited. I was like, I did not realize I did this in TK Maxx. So I got all these things and I'm gonna try them for you right now. So first of all, uh, I have no idea what these are, but they're like ice cream cones with like something pink in the middle. Like I've never seen this before. Oh, that's so cute. They're individually wrapped as well. I'm so excited. I genuinely have no idea what this is or what it's gonna taste like. Mmm, that's so good. It tastes like it's like some strawberry cream in like a comb. It tastes like a strawberry ice cream, basically. Oh my God, that's so good. Next, I'm gonna try these jellies. They're called Jelly Drink, and it literally says, drink your favorite jelly. Never seen this in my life. Well, there are so many people staring at me right now. Like everyone around me in the car park is like in their cars watching. So I hope they enjoy. Okay, so it's literally like a little fruit pouch. Okay, it contains the same thing as the Mogu Mogu, or the Mogu Mogus have. I cannot open it. I got strawberry flavor because that's probably my favorite. Oh my gosh, okay. So you know Mogu Mogu or Mogu Mogu, however you pronounce it. You know how you get like those little chunks? 
this is the chunk basically my sister would hate this she hates like the chunks it's very thick and there's like a lot of like bits in it but it's actually really good i got a lot of these to snack on and i can just put the lid back on and i'm gonna probably have the rest when i'm at home and the last thing i have is this strawberry iced tea so it's got mango boba at the top and i'm assuming you put the boba in and it's like it's bubble tea i've not had bubble tea in so long oh my god this is actually scary if i get stuff down me or get stuff in my car i'll be fuming all right so it's come off like here so i've just poured it off and it's literally it is literally just strawberry iced tea so i've unpeeled it and i'm just gonna pour it in okay we did it i don't have a straw or anything okay i don't have a straw but <laughs> it didn't come with a straw so i can't i can't even i don't have a straw brilliant what do what do they want me to do with this realistically i don't have a straw i i won't be able to have any of the boba but i'm just gonna drink some of the iced tea it tastes like iced tea to be honest it's kind of warm um this is probably the worst out of all of them i don't really think this through love my new snacks now let's go home okay it's a bit later and while i do my skincare i'm going to give you guys some of my top tips on how to romanticize your summer I have a little list here. So the first one and probably the most important one is being able to do things on your own and to have fun on your own. Like obviously like having company and like having friends to hang out with is great, but there's like a big difference between just like relying on other people to have fun and having fun just by yourself and being able to have fun by yourself. I would really recommend start to do this and you can do this by like taking yourself out on dates and like having some like me time and not relying on other people. The next one is to take up new hobbies. You will have a lot more free time. So it is the perfect opportunity to take up new hobbies and to try something new. This summer I really want to try and do a lot of writing but there's literally so many things that you can do but I'd recommend looking on Pinterest for some inspiration. The next one is to act like a main character in a TV show. If your life was a movie or a TV show and you were sitting at home all day doing nothing, would people want to watch your life? no they wouldn't this one i would definitely recommend and that is doing vlogs for youtube or starting social media like doing days in their life on tiktok or upload stories to instagram this is such a good way just to create memories and it also makes you motivated to do new activities and to have fun i love making summer videos because then i can look back in the future of all the memories that i made and it's so nostalgic the last one is to make a summer vision board or a summer bucket list i made one of these in one of my previous this videos and i could not recommend it enough this is so good because you can try and tick off as many as possible and it's just so fun to do so this is your sign to start romanticizing summer oh that actually tastes good i don't even need to put sugar in this I'm recommending so Leon guys. So good. And we also have pink food dye because we're gonna make pink cookies as well. I'm gonna chop my finger off. Please don't. Whoa. Food in slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> Two tablespoons of water. Guys, wanna know a fun fact? My dad put fairy liquid in my slippers and I cried and he said I overreacted. I don't think that was really overreacting of me. I'm sure everyone else would cry if they've got fairy liquid in their slippers. Yum, 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 yum. We're gonna try and turn pink. Should we put the pink in now? Yeah. I'm thinking. Because I'll vibrant you on it. Oh! Can <laughs> 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 we put more dye in? Is it gonna make it taste weird? What the hell? Look at that, guys. Doesn't it like absolute delicious? <laughs> I would eat it just like that. Do you want your dinner? Dinner is ready! Ah, oh my god. I feel like we need more water in this. It's not really yeah, like molding. It's literally stayed the same. 
Uh, if we manage to mess this up, it's actually going to be... Oh, I've actually thing. messed this exact recipe up before. Oh. But it's because I put it in the oven for too long. Mm. Gorgeous. They look so cute, but like meat. me and Katie think that they just look like meat. Like meatballs, <laughs> which is really gross. Should we put them in the oven? Fuck out the pizza. Um, say. Like I don't want to block your view. Wow, <laughs> these look good. <laughs> cookies. I rate it. If you're up. These are actually nice. Oh. <laughs> Looks, I would say, one out of ten. But taste is probably like nine out of ten. Show my mum. Guys, I'm so sorry I keep forgetting to do an outro, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe.